Now, let's continue the same example. Here it says, if two of the first 75 items inspected are non-conforming, then... Well, I want to remind you about the original example. This example is uh, inspecting items that are coming out of a production line and we're classifying them as either conforming or non-conforming. Probability that an item is non-conforming is 3%, essentially probability of success. So here we have this new condition and we want to calculate what is the probability that the fourth non-conforming item will be found before the 200th inspection. Well, it says before, and it's the fourth non-conforming item. So it's T4. Before is less than 200 inspection. So essentially, we are looking at probability of T4, number of trials until the fourth success, less than 200. But given this condition, if two of the first 75 items inspected are non-conforming. And what that means is that out of 75 items, two of them were non-conforming. We're not exactly sure on which trials we found those two non-conformings, but we just know that out of 75, we had two successes. That is a binomial random variable, n75 equals 2 two non-conforming or quote-unquote successes in 75 trials. So that's a given condition here. And that condition changes our probability. So we have to incorporate this condition into this probability. If you have already passed 75 inspections and you found two non-conforming, in order to see the fourth non-conforming in total, before the 200th, you have 125 inspection to go, and you want to see the second non-conforming before 125th inspection. So that becomes probability of T2 less than 125. Well, imagine that you are, uh, these are the items coming out of the production line, and you are inspecting them and you're going to get to the 75th one and you already seen two successes in these inspections. Probably that you're calculating is T4 less than 200. So you still have two more successes to observe and 125, right? This is 124, this is 125 after 75. This is 1 and 2. So you want to see the second success before the 125th inspection. So that's why this condition changes the probability to probability of T2 less than 125. Now to calculate this probability you have to add up a lot of probability. Probability of T2 equals 124, probability of T2 equals 123, plus all the way to probability of T2 equals 2. Well, there's actually a smarter way to calculate this probability. And that smarter way is to say that if we have more than two non-conforming in these 125 observations, if you have more than two non-conforming, then we're sure that the second non-conforming happened before 125th, right? So this is essentially equivalent to probability of n125 greater than two. So we can say probability of n125 greater than two which is mi 1 minus probability of n125 less than equal to 2. 
So these three binomial probabilities, if you calculate them and subtract from one, you get to that probability. You don't have to calculate all of these probabilities of negative binomial. That's just a, you know, a smarter way of calculating this probability. Let's move on to part F. This part says, on average, when will the fifth non-conforming item be found? Well, we know on average is expected value. So expected value of T5, given the same condition, N75 is equal to 2. Well, we have passed through 75 inspections and we have seen two non-conforming. So we have three more non-conforming to observe. So that changes this expected value to expected value of T3, but plus 75 because T5 is the number of trials until fifth non-conforming. And that number of trials has got to be more than 75. 75 only got us two non-conforming, so we add 75 to expected value of T3. So R divided by P plus 75, that is 3 over 0.03, plus 75, which is 175. So on average, we will see the fifth non-conforming on the 175th observation or inspection. And that's because of this condition. Well, if we didn't have that condition, the expected value would be just 5 over 0.03 which is about 167. Well, this condition essentially increased the average number of uh, inspections by a little bit. 